Hey, what's up guys? It's been quite a while since I've done this tut and we're gonna start off pretty basic here with just a really quick tip. Someone had asked me about this, uh, how it could be done in one of my last tutorials when I was talking about working with the pattern. So here I've got an impact and I've created a pattern here. I'll double click on that. And in that last tutorial I was showing here, we have our parameter automation lane down at the bottom and we have this ellipsis here. So if we click on that, then we have access to a window here that will allow us to choose from the various parameters that can be automated within impact. So here we have bank A and then pad one. If I select pad one, then we can see for that pad, we have a variety of different parameters that can be added. So if I click on the filter drive, I'll choose add that's moved here. And we can see that this now is added. I'll close this window out. So now we can do some automation with our filter drive down below. So this individual who asked the question was saying, well, you know, with impact, we've got so many pads, we've got so many different banks. Is there a better way to access the parameters than diving into the menu? And there is. So what we could do, and by the way, if we'd like to remove this, we we'll just right click and remove. So the quick way or a quick way to do this is open up our impact, whatever parameter that you'd like to automate, say it's the pitch, the transpose here. I just click once on that and we can see in the window in the upper left corner that is added. And so I'll close out our impact. And then we have a hand here. If I click hold and drag that down to our parameter automation lane, we now have that available. So this is gonna be a quick way so you don't have to dive through the menus to uh, find the parameter that you're looking for. Just select it within the device and uh, click once on it. You can set it up so that whatever you hover over is gonna show up here, um, but that's within the options menu. So you can take a look for that if you'd prefer to work with it that way. So that is how you can quickly add parameters and this works for any instrument. So I'll come to the browse. Let's bring in a Mai Tai, close out that browse and let's see, I'm going to double click to create a MIDI part, come back to our Mai Tai. I'll click on the character, the sound. I'll click once we can see it's populated here. Close out our Mai Tai, double click on our MIDI part, and then we have our parameter automation laying down at the bottom. And then I can just click on the hand, click and hold, drag that, and now we have our sound as an automatable parameter in our parameter lane. So I'm gonna close out the editor and then open up our Mai Tai. And I just wanted to also show, if I come to the cutoff here and click there, our field is populated. I'll close out the Mai Tai again. Take note of our track that the Mai Tai is on. If we click on A, there is a shortcut key, Alt plus A. Uh, we can actually create an envelope within our track for that parameter by clicking on the A or using that shortcut key. So we can see we have cutoff available for working with in our automation envelope here, which is not going to be contained within our MIDI part or our pattern. It's gonna have its own track. And so this is another way that you can go about add of adding automation if you prefer to work with an envelope. So I will select the, let's see, amount that's populated. I'll click the A and we can see now our amount is available for manipulation and editing here within our arrange view. Now, if we'd like to go back to the other parameter, the cutoff, we can just click on that drop down and then select it like so. Now, we can also click on this button down in the bottom left-hand corner and view both of those at the same time. And this will be useful for if you'd like to man manipulate these so that they are going to work in relation to one another. Okay, and so that's how you can quickly assign parameters uh, for automation within the parameter automation lane, as well as within the arrange view here. So we're just starting off a little bit slow with this quick tip. If there's anything, uh, any topics that you would like to be uh, covered, go ahead and leave a comment below. And uh, I'm gonna try to get these tutorials going once again. As I said, it's been a long time and I actually have a backlog of questions in the comments of my video. So I'm gonna go through those and try to create some tuts based on questions that people have asked and I may not have had a chance to get back with them or with you. 
So look out for more tits on the way and thanks for watching.